Imagine a planet like Earth, but way heavier. We know that gravity gets stronger as mass increases. That's why giants like Jupiter in our solar system have super strong gravity. Jupiter's gravity is around 81 feet per second squared, which is 2.4 times higher than Earth's. It's so powerful that Jupiter attracts hundreds of asteroids to itself, which, without Jupiter's presence, would have fallen directly to Earth. However, Jupiter is a gas giant, which means it doesn't have a solid surface like Earth does. It's literally a ball of gases and winds with a dense core somewhere deep inside. If you tried to stand on Jupiter, you would sink until you reached it. But what would happen if we were standing on an Earth-like planet with a very strong gravity? First of all, it'd be a lot bigger than our Earth and pretty massive as well. That's a big deal, because it would affect its size and how it loses heat. Think of it like this. As things get bigger, they lose heat more slowly, like a big pot of soup simmering on the stove. Now I'm hungry. This means that the surface there will be quite hot. You can imagine a desert or savanna planet. The landscape would be different in general. You'd have shorter mountains and shallow oceans, and the planet would be pretty flat overall. The heavy gravity would make the insides molten, causing lots of geological action and making the surface even flatter. The air on this hefty planet would be super thick because there's a stronger force pulling it down. Breathing would feel like inhaling soup, however weird that sounds. Also, winds and waves would be wild and powerful. And as for flying around, well, it would be tough on high-gravity planets. If we land our spaceship on it, it will be quite a headache to leave later. On the bright side, because the air is thick, the sky would have stunning colors. The sunsets and sunrises would be breathtaking. And when it comes to volcanoes, they'd stay quiet until the pressure reaches epic levels. That means volcanic eruptions would be rare, but crazy when they happen. After landing, of course, you would feel an incredible heaviness. It would feel like you're being squished down. Every step would be a workout, and even lifting things would be a challenge. And forget about jumping high or doing fancy flips. On this planet, your jumps would barely exist. Even breathing itself would be tough for us. So, if we wanted to live there, we'd have to adapt all our sports and games a lot. And climbing one of those short mountains would feel like climbing a never-ending staircase. Buildings would have to be short and sturdy as well, like squat little towers. Tall structures might easily collapse under the gravity's weight. And on a planet like that, even a little tumble could spell disaster. So the inhabitants would be mostly sturdy four-legged creatures, ensuring they stay steady and close to the ground. So any creatures living here would have to be built tough. The best example is the Elcor from Mass Effect. They're a species native to the high-gravity world Dakuna. When it comes to walking around, these creatures would have to choose between stability and saving energy. Fewer legs would be great for saving energy. In that case, they would move like a swinging pendulum, but they wouldn't be super stable. More legs have the opposite effects. These folks would also need beefy lungs to breathe, mighty hearts to pump blood against the gravity, and super dense bones. Their veins might even have muscles, like our arteries. And with so much oxygen around because of the thick atmosphere, these creatures could grow really big. In other words, if we lived on such a planet, we would all look like bodybuilders. The good news is, with all the extra effort, you get to enjoy more tasty food. You'd need the extra calories to keep up with a new lifestyle. That's what it would be like to live on a high-gravity planet. Now, what about the opposite, a planet with super low gravity? Instead of feeling grounded and heavy, you'd feel noticeably light and buoyant. To get a sense of how low gravity might feel, think about the sensation of jumping on a trampoline. When you leap into the air, you experience a brief moment of weightlessness before gravity pulls you back down. Now, imagine if that feeling of weightlessness never really went away. You'd feel incredibly agile. Every step would be a bit like walking on the moon, where you can leap great distances with little effort. 
One of the biggest differences on such a planet would be the climate and temperatures. Unlike the previous one, this lighter world might not be as effective at trapping heat. This could result in milder and more stable temperatures compared to Earth. Picture a world where every day feels like a pleasant spring day. Seasons might still exist, but the extremes of scorching summers and freezing winters would be much less pronounced. So outdoor activities would be a joy throughout the year. The landscape on a low-gravity planet would be a sight to behold. Mountains would rise to towering heights, their peaks seemingly brushing against the sky. These majestic landforms could reach far above the cloud layers. Valleys and canyons would be deep and sprawling. Breathing there would be a breeze, literally. With a thinner atmosphere, you'd find it much easier to inhale. Winds would be much gentler than on our planet. Storms would still occur, but they wouldn't be anything like what we have on Earth. Life on a low-gravity planet would be different as well. Plants could grow tall and slender, reaching for the skies. Trees might stretch to incredible heights. Animals would be tall and graceful, with long limbs and slender bodies. They'd move with elegance. Wings might be a common feature among them. They also could have developed specialized adaptations, like gas-filled sacs. If we were born on a planet like this, we would also be taller, slender, with quite fragile bones and very thin muscles, like that stretched boy from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. As you can guess, this planet could be a paradise for sports lovers. Traditional games like basketball, soccer, and volleyball could become incredibly popular here and much more fun. People would be able to jump super high, do backflips in the air and all sorts of cool moves. And activities like hiking, rock climbing, and even yoga would take on new dimensions. Performing acrobatics would be as natural as walking. And all the hard, everyday tasks that require lifting and carrying would feel effortless. Architects and engineers would have a field day designing buildings in this world. They would be able to build very tall and elegant structures reaching the skyline. Our cities would be filled with towering skyscrapers and large windows. Flying and taking off the surface would be much easier. On Earth, launching a spacecraft into orbit requires a tremendous amount of energy. But on a low-gravity planet, escaping the atmosphere would be far less demanding, which means that humans would be able to travel more, and exploring space would become much easier and cheaper. Of course, all that means that transportation would also benefit from the low gravity. Air travel would be incredibly efficient, with aircraft gliding effortlessly through the thin atmosphere. Elevators in tall planets would operate with minimal energy consumption. And in general, since the planet is probably smaller than Earth, traveling there would be much faster. There might be some challenges, though, like fragile bodies and health problems. Also, we would probably get tired faster because of all of the muscle atrophy and other things. And perhaps the ecosystem wouldn't be as diverse as it is on Earth. But still, it looks like living on a low-gravity planet is much better than on a high-gravity one. Moreover, it sounds like it might even be better than Earth. So maybe someday, we'll find a planet that will be like a paradise for humans. Until then, let's take care of our beautiful Earth. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.